I'm Vern Earwood from Clovis, New Mexico, originally fighting out of Aurora, Colorado. I'm 41 years old. I'm the head coach of the Revenant Fight Team out of A1 Boxing. I've been a long time coach on the scene uh, from mixed martial arts, you know, now into boxing. And, you know, I keep myself busy every day, work a regular job, go to the gym. I spent six years in the Marine Corps, served from 1996 to 2002, that's to include a recall. Whenever I was young, I decided I wanted to join the military after I realized I wasn't gonna go to college on a football scholarship. Dreamed like any kid, you know, being a professional athlete. Decided to go ahead and take the route of the military and my dad being an army veteran from the Vietnam era, he decided to go ahead and encourage me to join the Marine Corps. He thought that was gonna be the best challenge for me. Uh, my first unit was Weapons Company, uh, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines out of 1st Marine Division. I was part of Weapons Company CAT Team. CAT Team is a combined anti-armor tank team with tow gunners. I'm an 0331 machine gunner, so I was always up in the turrets, kind of buttoning up tanks, uh, so our, our tow gunners had an opportunity to side in. I honestly was really excited to go to basic training. I was, after being encouraged to join the Marine Corps, I had a great recruiter, a tough veteran dad. I physically trained for it because I heard it was, you know, extremely tough physical training. I wasn't as prepared psychologically as I thought I would be at that time. But I was really excited. I graduated very high in my platoon. I went on to the School of Infantry uh, as an 0331 machine gunner. I graduated at the company honorman. First couple months in the Fleet Marine Corps, I, I always had a target on my back simply just because I went into the Fleet Marine Corps an E3 at Lance Corporal, and it takes many Marines, you know, three to four years to do that. I was what they called a fast tracker. I, you know, I picked up rank meritorious more than once. Uh, I came out of the School of Infantry as a Lance Corporal as an E3. You know, I've deployed from Camp Pendleton, California. We deployed through Guam, through the Asias to the East Coast, UAE, Bahrain, Kuwait, you know, just a number of great places. So I've, I've seen quite a bit of the world. I actually got out in August of 2001. September 11th happened just a couple months later. From there, I'd received a presidential recall letter. By January, I was already processing back in and making the transition back from civilian to Marine and back in the Marine Corps by February. From there, I was an operational Marine again. I was a part of the original recalls that made up Operation Enduring Freedom. From there, I was just happy to be a Marine, happy to be back in uniform and serving my country again. From day one of boot camp, I was screaming I was gonna be a lifer, I was gonna be a sergeant major. Those cards didn't play out for me. Whenever I got out after my recall and went back to the civilian life, I knew that I had to find some direction. I needed to you know, get my life together. I was married, I had a, a young son, and I needed to do what I needed to do to build a foundation as a family man. You know, being back in my hometown, it didn't offer a whole lot. I was used to more of a structured life and an organized life coming out of the Marine Corps. It was just really hard for me to transition as a civilian. I tried to go to work in corrections. I worked for Dish Network. I, you know, worked security as a bouncer at bars. It was just difficult. At the end of 2002, I really had nothing going on as a board Marine. I had a buddy tell me one day, you know, hey man, I can get you in a full contact fight. I just figured, why not? You know, I, I grew up boxing, Golden Glove boxing, I had kickboxed and a little bit of tie boxing in the Marine Corps. Definitely a lot of submission grappling. Transitioning from a Marine to a civilian and then competing, you know, it was on a whole different level. I felt from my younger experience to now being a Marine Corps vet, you know, competing in here against civilians and against other athletes. Fought two years as an amateur, um, nine years as a professional fighter in the cage and just never really looked back. I enjoyed what I did because that's how I found balance. I've been out of the Marine Corps now for 17 years and in those 17 years it's, it's always been difficult finding balance. It's always been difficult with bouts of PTSD and depression, bouts of alcoholism, but the one true that always brought me back was being competitive again, getting back in the gym and deciding to get into a fight. I took about five years out of combat sports, my last fight being in 2013 in the cage. After a very up and down, you know, a year, uh, lost my mom last year and it was, it was in a pretty bad state of mind and just felt like, okay, it's, it's that time again, I need to get back into the ring, I need to get competitive again, I need to get in there and find something that kind of, in a sense, brings me an, an aggressive amount of joy. I made my return in the boxing ring instead of the cage in December of 2018 with a fast finish, 51 seconds of the first round, and it just kind of felt exciting. It was exhilarating for me. You know, now that I'm back, I've fought twice with two knockouts, and I'm excited for April 27th. I feel like it's gonna be a three-peat. Fighting on the 10th anniversary of the Army versus Marine card, it's huge. It's an opportunity that I'm probably more excited for than any opportunity that's ever been presented to me in my combat sports history, uh, boxing and, and in the cage. 
The Army versus Marine event, it's, it's widely different than other events that I've coached on, other events that I've competed on. It's patriotism at its finest. You know, the show gives back so much to the veterans that are local to the community. To give back to the military means giving back to those who have served you. I think that's absolutely amazing. I think this show shows what combat sports and what professionalism is all about. Being a fighter means setting an example for those that aspire to join combat sports and those that aspire to reach the highest levels of what mixed martial arts or boxing may present. It's a matter of being a role model in and out of the ring or the cage. April 27th, I'll be fighting and representing the United States Marine Corps. I'm gonna be fighting for those who are fighting bouts of cancer and can't fight for themselves. I'm gonna be fighting for the 22 veterans a day that lose their lives to their demons. Being a United States Marine means everything to me. We are not a membership, we're not a club, we're not anything else where you can just become part of it. You have to earn it, you have to earn it every day. I wouldn't be the man that I am now sitting here today if it wouldn't have been for my upbringing and for the Marine Corps.